How's it going pal? Welcome back to the Power Life vlog. We've got an exciting one ready for you today. We are doing our monthly feature, Will It Charge? We're gonna be running through some devices. We're gonna show you what our power banks are capable of. But first things first, Simon, we need to run those titles. As you will have guessed from Simon's slick intro title sequence, we are seeing if our products will charge an Apple fanboy. Me being said, Apple fanboy. We have almost the full suite of Apple accessories and computers in front of us, starting with the Apple AirPods, the iPhone XS Max, the iPad Pro 10.5. What's this one, Simon? This is the MacBook Pro. 2016. 2016 vintage, 13 inch. We have the Powerlife Big Pal, the Mega Pal, and we have the dongles of power. These are what are going to tell us if our power banks are performing as they should be, charging these devices. We'll go into more detail about these as we go on with the video, and we're going to use the su supplied by Apple cables just to make the experiment nice and fair across all the devices. So Simon, I think let's get into it now. Let's do it. Right, Simon, you are our fact checker. You're on the MacBook Pro. We can just about see it in the shot. You're gonna do all of our fact checking, battery capacities, charge wattages, etc., etc. Gonna try and not make it too technical, but at the same time, we need to be making sure that we're testing accurately and based on the manufacturer's guidelines. The first device that we are going to charge is the Apple AirPods. Now, we know, Simon, that the AirPods themselves have a tiny battery capacity, but the device that we're actually charging is the case, so fact check, please, what is the capacity of the case? You are correct in saying that, Jeremy, that each one has a very small battery inside them. In fact, it is a 93 milliwatt battery tiny. inside each earbud. Tiny, tiny. But the case itself contains a 398 milliamp uh, battery. So 400 milliamp hours. Mm. To give a bit of context, that is roughly a fifth of the capacity of a rechargeable AA battery. So it's pretty, pretty small. I reckon that this will charge at five volts, one amp, but this is where the dongle of power comes into its own. We're gonna hook it up to the Big Pal in the fast charge port, and we're gonna test the draw, the current draw, from the Apple AirPods and the power bank. So we'll get this all wired up. So, Quick fact check on the Powerlife Big Pal. Charge capacity of 10,000 milliamp hours. We have USB and fast charge USB. There's also a type C output, which is fast charging. And this device will do a maximum of 18 watts of power. We are now looking at these stats coming out of the dongle of power for charging the Apple AirPods. Now it is drawing five volts at 0.3 amps, so it's not even one amp of draw, it's only 0.3, and that's at 1.5 watts. Rough rule of thumb is that you will get roughly two thirds of the capacity of your power bank in the device that you're charging. So if we assume that it's a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank, and we're gonna get two thirds of it, that means that it has an available charge capacity of 6,600 milliamp hours, which we then divide the capacity of the AirPods into. So if we do 6,600 divided by 400 milliamp hours for the AirPods, we get 16.5 charges. This thing, more than enough power to power your AirPods, and if anything, it's gonna do you 16 odd charges of the case off a full charge of a Big Pal. So, absolute breeze, no bother at all. Big Pal, AirPods, easy. 
Perfect mix. Right, Simon, we are charging iPhone 10s Maxes, and we're gonna do your iPhone. iPhone 8. iPhone 8, small size, the baby size. The baby size. For little fingers. <laughs> little photography fingers. <laughs> uh, fact check, please. Capacities on both, if you will. So, the iPhone 10s Max has a battery, battery capacity of 3,174 milliamps, which is Apple's largest battery size in any iPhone to date. Biggest one yet. It is the biggest one yet. So obviously it's got all those tech, all that tech inside it. it so it far. needs a bigger battery. It needs that far. The iPhone 8 will have around a 1,821 milliamp battery. So we are looking at rounding up 3200 milliamps for the 10s max and 1800 odd for the iphone 8 yes cool now let's do a quick charge check the challenge that we have here simon is that my phone is already at 90 odd percent battery charged at this morning in the car yours is at 61. what you will find is the closer your phone is to being completely charged, the less power it's going to draw from the power bank to charge itself. So the 10s Max, you know what, we'll drain it over the course of the video so we can get the shots on the dongle of power. Um, but at the moment, on the fast charge port on the Big Pal, which will charge either of these phones with a fast charge, it is drawing one Oh no, we're up to two. We're up to two amps. So that is two amps at 10 watts. So that is more power than the standard issued plug that comes to your phone. That'd be five volts, one amp. The Big Pal is delivering five volts, two amps at roughly 10 to 12 watts. So a fast charge from your power bank for the 10s Max. Let's now check the iPhone 8 iPhone 8, again, coming out of the Big Pal fast charging port, we are at 5 volts, 1.6 amps, at 7 watts. So again, it's drawing more power, more current from the Big Pal than your standard issue wall plug from Apple. You don't get a fast charge, you just get a regular socket with that. And, but it's mostly charged as well, 60 odd percent. Um, so yeah, it's not gonna draw that full. 2.4 amps that the Big Pal is capable of delivering, but it's still a fast charge and it will charge it really quick. So let's work out the numbers. On a for the 10s Max, th we're say 3200 milliamp hours. Again, we're gonna assume you're only gonna get two-thirds of the capacity because you're using that fast charge. It's gonna take up more, it's gonna take more juice to power it with a fast charge. We do 6600 divided by 3200, we're looking at just over two full charges. So the big pal on the plus size iPhones will do you roughly two full charges with a fast charge, getting you that power quick. And on the smaller sized iPhones, we're gonna call it rule of thumb, 1800 milliamp hours. So 6600 divided by 1800 is giving you roughly three and a half charges of a small iPhone with a big pal, fast charged. On to the next one, we are talking iPads now. We are specifically testing the iPad Pro first gen 10.5 inch in a lovely rose gold finish. Beautiful. Big trend last year, <laughs> likely to continue this year, rose gold. <laughs> Fact check please Simon, what is the capacity of the battery in one of these bad boys? Okay Jeremy, so this 10.5 inch iPad Pro has a milliampage of 8134. Enough talking, take the cable out of the iPhone and we'll stick it into the iPad. There it goes, it is charging. And this, we are getting a full fast charge. We are at five volts and 2.3 amps. So that is basically as much power as the Big Pal is able to give this device. It'll do up to 2.4 amps. So we're at 2.3 at just shy of 12 watts of power. So pretty chunky. 
you're, you're certainly getting everything you can out of your big pal charging a iPad Pro. That's a fast charge. And it is a fast charge. Yeah. Again, like I, I would need to check what came in the box with an iPad, but it's giving more current than the iPhone was, was receiving. Brick, right. Well, yeah. more, more than it was receiving, but the like the standard power brick that comes with an iPhone is five volts one amp. I don't remember what came with the iPad, but I mean, if you if you were using your iPhone power brick to charge up your iPad, you would be only getting half of the amount of power that this thing is capable of drawing. So anyway, do you know what? Again, enough talking numbers. This thing, the Big Pal, is charging a fast charge for an iPad. However, I think we should take a look at what the Mega Pal can do at this point. I agree. Let's do it, right? Let's do it. Away with the Big Pal, in with the Mega Pal. Like it was doing on the Big Pal, it is drawing five volts, 2.3 amps. We're getting a fast charge out of the Mega Pal, Simon. We're pushing 12 watts of power. It's gonna charge it really quick. So we'll do 20,000 milliamp hours divided into two thirds gives us 13,200 milliamp hours of power that your power bank is going to be able to deliver to the device that's charging. We're then going to divide that by the 8100 and we come out with a 1.69. So, do you know what? It's doing you what? One and a half charges of an iPad Pro on a full charge of a Megapal. Not too bad at all. And it is a fast charge through your fast charge port. That's not bad. Not bad. That's really good. Not isn't bad. It? I'm interested to see what it's going to do on your MacBook Pro, however. The Megapal. If you would, please, sir. Let's plug that into your MacBook Pro. Here we go. Listen to the sound. Ding. Fact check on the MacBook Pro. So the MacBook Pro 2016 model, Retina display, 13 inch. Well, this one's a little old, so it has a 4,338 milliamp battery. 4,000 milliamp hours. So the MacBook Pro has half of the battery of the iPad. And I'm looking at I'm looking at these numbers, man. These are tasty looking numbers down here, Simon. It's Type C, so we're no longer using just five volts. We are up to twenty volts, two point seven amps, and fifty five, fifty four, fifty five watts of power. Which is, I mean, like, yeah, we knew this thing was good. It was designed to be good, and it seems to be giving you a whopping amount of power. Um, with the Mega Pal, so yeah, do you know what? I'm <laughs> I'm so excited for my new my new MacBook. <laughs> You're just chomping on the bit. Chomping on the bit. Yeah. We're almost there, Simon. We're, We're almost, almost finished. There. Let's run the numbers on the amount of times the Mega Pal will charge a MacBook Pro. So what did we say? We were six, two thirds of twenty thousand, and it was what four thousand milliamp hours. Four thousand three hundred thirty-eight. Forty-three hundred. So almost exactly three charges. So the Mega Pal will do you at a fast charge, as fast as the power out of the wall, three charges of your MacBook Pro, out and about on the go. It's ideal. It's roughly about time to start wrapping up this month's episode of Will It Charge. We have proven that the Big Pal and the Mega Pal are more than sufficient to keep the Apple fanboy charged across the entire Apple product portfolio. Every single one is capable, more than capable. And for me, do you know what? Like the most impressive thing, the Mega Pal charging the MacBook Pro. Like three full charges of that thing on the go, not needing a plug, as fast as the plug, with a fast charge. Yeah, mind blown. Can't wait for my new one. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Right, so if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe, hit the bell. We're uploading weekly on a Monday. We've had some suggestions for the next We Will It Charge video. John Reed, we know who you are. We are excited to put your suggestion to the test. We'll keep it under wraps till we're ready to go with it. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that one. If you've got any suggestions as to what we should be featuring on the next Will It Charge, let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, from Simon and myself, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Bye.